Rainy day, Seattle, Washington. As good as any other day. Rainy days are awesome too. Hey, good people. Yesterday, Three egg rolls and a cup of broth changed me. Yesterday I was in a very pissy mood. I'm human. I get, I allow, sometimes allow thoughts to run through my head, fears to get the best of me. I was pissy. I was pissy. And, uh,. We went to an area in Seattle called Little Saigon. It's 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 around downtown, and um, you know I don't, we, I don't eat any animal products, so Asian areas typically have more food selection for me. There was one place that was completely vegan, so we went there and ate and got a little bit to eat. And I was just pissy, and my partner was with me, and she had to deal with me being pissy. So I have a I have a product that I'm launching in just over two weeks and I'm nervous I'm excited but I'm nervous and I'm scared and I let that side of all of it run run me yesterday I let it run me for for hours anyway so <laughs> I was I was unpleasant and best I can tell the reason it went down is because I kept letting those thoughts go through my head and it, of course created my feelings my momentum and I I got kind of stuck in this vortex of of fear and made me super pissy I'm human I mean I'm, I have in anyways so that was a real opportunity to to learn a lesson, to learn how to do, to learn how to practice my skills of not positive thinking, but getting into a state of gratitude from that place of pissiness. Let's let's just be frank. I was an asshole for a while yesterday, and a real asshole. It's just because I was scared, because I was hurting, making up thoughts in my head getting myself all scared and um, after we ate there we walked half a block to another place that we'd been once before and I remember going there because she has it's all vegan and there's a whole bunch of selection of stuff I mean there's egg rolls jalapeno poppers all kinds of great stuff a whole buffet line and and she like makes it all herself I, I think she has some help but she the owner she's there every day she is super sweet, super sweet, and and genuinely nice. From the first time, well, it was the only time I'd met her. I, I just I just knew this is a very kind person with a lot of love in their heart. Uh, I know it because when you see it, it's a person that's just they're living, they're living an inspired life. They 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 are they're on a mission. And you don't come across them too much. So when you do, you know it. And she was there yesterday too. And I was, of course, in my assholeness, <laughs> my pissy state. And my partner had to deal with me. I feel so, I feel so bad for her. Sometimes she's got to do that. Sometimes I got to deal with her being in a pissy mood too. We're all human, right? When all we can do is try to be better, and we must try to be better. We must. But we'll never be perfect. Perfect. So we went in there, and, you know, we're looking at the buffet bar, and she goes, uh, my, my partner goes, eh, I, I'd like some of those egg rolls. And, okay, yeah, that's a good idea, because egg rolls are good. I mean, there's no real eggs in them, but that doesn't matter, because believe me, they're delicious. They're just made differently. 
and they, we know they're fresh and mostly organic and natural and all that stuff because the lady that owns it, that's what she does. She cares. Cares a lot. And um, as we were looking at they were getting the egg rolls. It, it, was, it was just her and, you know, it's an area of Seattle called Little Saigon. So as you imagine, mostly everything is Asian. The, most people are. There was her working there. She's Asian. And she had a, a white American guy there working with her. And it's just those two and us two in this space. And then a third, uh, another guy walks in. And, you know, I live in the city. So I, I know when someone's kind of a street person. And he was. And they didn't kick him out or something like that. He came in like he knew somebody. And I didn't really think much of it. And we went to check out and we're talking to the lady and I, I, it's only two bucks. So I didn't want to use my credit card because my thought was, well, I don't, I don't want to take her money and give it to Visa. I, I, um, and so I asked my partner if she had, you know, a couple bucks. I didn't have any cash on me. And the lady goes, that's okay. You can pay me next time. I was just surprised. My first thought was, well, maybe you're not doing very well in business if this is what you're doing. That was my first thought. And I was like, you know, I value business. So I wanted to make sure I gave her cash so that she could actually get all the money. And I guess looking back at it, I guess that was a a kind thought for me to uh, something thoughtful from me, I guess. And I think that that is what brought everything that happened after that to me because I was an asshole and I was pissy. And I had one moment where I actually thought of somebody else and it was real because I wasn't like, it wasn't filled with any bullshit. It was just, I want to make sure she gets the money. I like her. I want to make sure she gets all the money and I'm not going to walk out of here and not pay her because I know me. And I don't know how long it'll be before I go back and pay her. I want to make sure she gets the money today. Because I like her. And it's just the right thing to do. And, she, and you know, my partner's digging through her purse trying to find a couple uh, dollars. We don't carry much cash. And again, she goes, that's okay. You can just pay me next time. And I'm like... What? I'm like, what are you doing? No, I'm going to pay you. No. Now, behind me, I can hear the, the white American guy say to the other guy that walked in, the street guy, go, hey, just hold on. Those are customers over there. Just wait a second. And it, I hear that. And I just, I don't think much of it. I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on here. And finally, my partner finds the $2, gives it to the lady, the sweet lady. And she goes... Okay, thank you. You know, you know, in the middle of the city, I don't experience something like that very much. Where, where I'm from in, in the middle of South Dakota, sure, that'll happen once in a while because we all know each other. You know, so there's a level of trust and accountability there. In a city, the odds of someone coming back to pay her are very low. But she taught me a lesson. And right after we pay her, she's very sweet, of course, I turn and look, and right in front of us, he's going in the door, right out the door right before us, is the street guy, and he has this cup of broth and a smile on his face, and he goes, thank you, thank you. And in the moment I walk out that door, I realize what just happened. And it... You know, look at this, day later, I mean, it's, it meant a lot to me. She, uh, <laughs> what had happened there is, I just experienced kindness and love from a stranger. And not just towards me. I saw it being emanated from her, her very core. Because there goes out this guy, and I got this brief picture 
and I brought it up to big scale quickly and realized, holy crap, how much of this must she do in a day? Because my first thought initially was, uh oh, she's not doing well in business doing all this. And about 30 seconds later, as I walk out the door, I completely realize the opposite is true. Now, I don't know. I don't know if she's making millions of dollars from doing that. I don't think that really matters to her. I'm sure she's getting by just fine. Because the moment I walk out that door, I realize she knows something stronger than I do. And she lives her life by it. When she said to us, it's okay, you can just pay me next time, she doesn't care about the money. She cares about the love. She cares about the contribution. She, she cares about the kindness. And she knows it doesn't matter. It's all going to come back to her anyways. In more than <laughs> what she was going to get. That $2, sure, she got the $2. But she didn't care about that. But the gift she gave me <laughs> was way bigger than $2. Not that you can put a monetary value on it. Here I am a day later making a video on it about how much it touched me. So that hopefully you watching this, it can touch you. It can help you. It can be meaningful to you. And I enjoy going back through it because that love and kindness I felt in that moment that lasted throughout the rest of the day. The rest changed my entire day. And here I am a day later, it's still affecting me. All because she said, it's okay, pay me next time over $2 worth of egg rolls. Which in reality probably cost her, I don't know, 50 cents. <laughs> she didn't even hesitate. And that man, I'm sure people come in there all day long getting broth. Probably just gives out free food to him too. But she knows something that lives by something stronger than most of us probably do. And she knows the truth. I'm sure of it. Because, like I said, it's okay. Pay me next time. Changed changed my whole fucking day. Changed it from shit to love. In a moment. And I feel like it's a reminder that that's the way the universe is. It's, it is love and warmth and kindness and contribution caring and I feel like we just each of us just keep it out away from us by our own actions by our own thoughts by our own vibrations because I was an asshole I was just pissy and nothing good was coming my way that day but when I went to pay her I thought about her and I wanted to make sure she got that all that money in cash today before we left. And I, I wanted that for her. And I think that somehow I, I briefly opened up into giving a shit about something that actually mattered. And the universe just... I lined up with the universe and it just brought me that wonderful gift. Wonderful gift. So two dollars in egg rolls and a cup of broth. I don't. I don't think any kindness or contribution or generosity is too small. 
Uh, she knew something. She knew, living the way she does, that she'll be way more than taken care of and she'll get to give wonderful gifts to people just through acts of kindness. Even if it's just $2 in egg rolls and giving a cup of broth to a person I don't know. So thank you. Thank you. All right. I hope this helps you. No, no, no act of kindness is too small. None. You have no idea, no idea what it can do for somebody. I love you. Peace out.